Ready to go from real estate rookie to home buying guru? I hope so, because Mortgage Points are top tier financial nerdery. Welcome to the Red Desk. Today, we're talking about discount points, or mortgage points, or just points. Tomato, tomato, they're the same thing. And for this episode, we're calling them mortgage points. People tend to think real estate is overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. In real estate, there's lots of jargon and acronyms that can be difficult to keep track of, but that's what I'm here for. Mortgage points, perfect example. Many homebuyers don't even know what mortgage points are, let alone consider buying them. But the homebuyers who do, they save a lot of money. Here's how they work. Mortgage points are one-time fees you can pay during closing to buy down or reduce your interest rate, usually in a quarter of a percent increments. When buying a home, the money you spend on mortgage points does not affect your total balance, just the interest rate you pay. Mortgage points are different from origination points. Origination points is just a fancy name for the fee lenders charge for setting up the loan. And that's a whole different episode. The premise is simple. Spend a couple thousand at closing on mortgage points, lower your interest rate, and in turn, pay less monthly for the life of the loan. Easy, right? Each mortgage point equals 1% of your loan amount. The more you borrow, the more expensive points are. For a $300,000 mortgage, one point, 3,000. For a $500,000 loan, one point, 5,000. The interest deduction you get per point depends on your lender, but again, it's often a quarter of a percent. And no, you can't drop your interest rate to zero. I like where your head is at though. Lenders have a limit on how many mortgage points you can buy. There's no perfect answer, but as a rule of thumb, you might wanna pick some up if a few of these apply to you. Your credit score didn't give you access to the best rates? You want your monthly mortgage payment to be as affordable as possible over the long haul. Ooh, you already have a good down payment. You think you'll stay past the break even point and don't plan on refinancing. More on that in a second. Let's do some math, shall we? Say you've got a $200,000 mortgage with a 30 year fixed rate at 5.125%. Your lender says, hey, we'll cut it down to 4.75% if you pay for 1.75 points up front. Each point is $2,000, which means you'd be paying $3,500 for 1.75 points. Without points or paying down the mortgage early, your loan would cost $392,029.20. With points, $375,480. That's $16,549.20 saved in interest over the life of the loan. Not bad, right? And if you just divide that $16,000 or so by 360 months, you save $45.97 a month. Still with me? This is where break even comes in. Since you spend $3,500 on points, if you divide that by $45.97 a month, you gotta stay in the house for around six years for your mortgage point bet to start paying off. Think you'll refinance or possibly sell before then? Better off skipping the mortgage points. The key? is make sure you'll be in the house long enough so points make your overall costs cheaper. And finally, why not just put that extra cash into a down payment? Doing that could mean avoiding private mortgage insurance and getting a better rate, right? Of course right! While paying for mortgage points doesn't increase your equity, it can be a helpful tool to make your monthly payment more affordable and offer savings over the life of the loan if you plan on staying in the home long term. That's pretty much it, but one other small bit of advice. When you're shopping around for mortgage rates, make sure you're comparing apples to apples. Lenders could be quoting the same rate, but require a different amount of points for you to pay to get you there. Speaking of which, want to roll up your sleeves and start crunching numbers? Visit rocketmortgage.com to speak with a home loan expert and find out if mortgage points are right for you. Red Desk 
out. Thanks for checking us out today. If you'd like to watch more videos just like this, click this button right here. And as always, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.